D.C. has accelerated the cleaning up of homeless encampments in recent months. But yesterday, federal officials cleaned up at least a dozen tents outside of Union Station, prompting concern about where those residents will be able to go now. Joining us to talk about it is Chelsea Ceruzzo, a reporter with Axios D.C. Chelsea, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. There were about 30 tents at Columbus Circle before yesterday's cleanup, so many of the residents had apparently already left. How much notice do people generally get before they have to pack up all their worldly possessions and relocate? Yeah, so the cleanup was done by the National Park Service, and they had posted signs about two weeks before the cleanup. That's per their protocol. So people had about a two weeks notice, although uh, DC told me they had been speaking with residents for about three months to connect them with resources and, and let them know what, what could be happening. The National Park Service did conduct this cleanup, but unlike the district, uh, which recently began helping encampment residents find those places to live as well as mental health services and storage for their personal belongings. The Park Service doesn't really have those kinds of plans in place, does it? And, and, and what's going to happen to these residents and people living in other encampments that get cleared out? Yeah, like you said, unlike D.C., which has been conducting this pilot program that has been clearing some encampments and housing some residents in those encampments on one-year leases, this is the National Park Service, so they're not pairing these cleanups with the same housing services. Like I said, DC and other outreach services have connected with people, but it's not like people are being handed vouchers. Now, the folks I spoke with yesterday, those who uh, remained at the encampment and were packing up to leave, told me for the most part they are going to other parks, including parks on DC land. Um, one woman I spoke with said, the uh, folks that she has lived with in the encampment, it's like a family. They look out for each other, so she wants to be with them. That said, she also pointed out, you know, there are rats um, in Columbus Circle. There was um, um, a smell. Um, she said she understood why they were cleaning the area, but she didn't really have anywhere else to go. So she had to move to another park. Last year, some members of the D.C. Council proposed a bill to pause the clearing out of encampments until everybody could be housed. That bill failed, but just how much help can the city provide for these residents? That's a good question. I mean, DC has made pretty significant investments in permanent supportive housing, which is um, really considered the gold standard for housing um, and, and getting people off the streets. Um, you know, that said, there is a difference between handing out vouchers, and D.C. does have a lot of vouchers, and actually housing people, and there is a sort of disconnect there. Uh, thank you so much, Chelsea Ceruzzo, uh, and you can read Chelsea's piece right now at Axios, D.C. Thanks again, Chelsea. Thank you so much.